Hello everyone, this is Frank Ilo from Afri Design Studios. In today's lesson, we shall learn how to create a flat roof design like you see on the screen. How do you create a hidden roof? Mr. OJ Ima, this video is actually for you because this was the question you asked me a few days ago. So, can we now jump right into it as we move over to Revit? So, this is the design we currently have on our Revit. And this design is a hip roof. In this tutorial, I would um, I will be teaching you how to convert this hip roof design to a hidden roof or a flat roof. How do we do that? The first thing I normally do is to go to my front elevation in order for me to see all the levels I have already created. By the time I see the levels I have created, I will now know how many I have to add to take care of my hidden roof. Having said that, we are going to move down to Project Browser. This is our Project Browser. I'm going to scroll down to my Approach Elevation, which is at the same thing as my Front Elevation. Double click on this, then it's going to bring us here. Currently, I have two different buildings on this site. One on the left, one on the right. So we are working with the one on the left. All right, so zooming in here, you are going to see the levels I have created already. I have four different levels natural ground level, floor plan level, beam level, and roof level. But now I am going to add one additional level which I am going to call my hidden wall. Why am I calling it a hidden wall? Because it is going to go around the building in order to hide the roof i'll be creating mind you the hidden roof we will be, we'll be creating here is going to be hidden by the walls all right having said that how do you now create an additional level to create an additional level we simply go to the top right corner you see where the roots level Click on level, all right? Then come here where you have draw. Select pick lines. Then come down here where you have offsets. Click inside the box and type 1,800. 1,800 millimeters, all right? Once you've done that, just gently move your cursor down to the roof level which is the last level you created drop your cursor on top of it and you will see a hidden or dotted line above once you see that just click then your level will be created the next thing you have to do is to go in there and double click on it and rename it. Rename. So we are going to name this 05 Hidden Wall. Okay, then I'll click outside here. It is going to ask me would you like to rename corresponding views? I would say yes. Okay, then I click outside, sorry, I click two times on my escape key. Click twice on your escape key to end the command. Now, you may ask me why am I putting 010203 in front of the levels I'm creating. This is to enable me to arrange my levels serially in ascending order all right having said that the next thing we are going to do now is to come here 
where we have the building we want to work with. We are going to delete the roof it is currently having, which is the heap roof. Click on it and hit delete. Then also click on the what's it called? Click on the concrete fascia. Click on this and go to delete again. You see this red X. Click on it. It's going to go off. Once you have done this, the next thing you have to do is to draw the wall. Draw the wall of your hidden um, roof. So what we are going to do now is we are going to go back to project browser and scroll up to scroll up to 04 roof level all right you can see it here double click on this it is going to bring us on the roof level then we are going to go to architecture in case it is not currently active just click on it to get it activated then click on wall then come here on this box here click on the small arrow and select hidden wall once you've selected hidden wall come to the edge here and start drawing your wall all right and you are going to close it here so once you are done with this press two times on your escape key to end command i'm going to show you another way to also end your command as we go along okay so come here to the default 3d view click here and you are going to see the walls you've created so you can see the walls we've created. The next thing you are going to do is to create the actual roof. The roof is going to be within this wall. The walls are going to bound it all together. So how do you create the roof? We are still going back to roof level on our project browser. So come to project browser here and come to 04 roof level. Double click on this and go to architecture again go to roof this time around not wall come to roof click on roof then come here where you have the draw tools either you select pick lines or you select line but as a beginner i would advise you to use line because it is easier to use but then it takes more time all right pick lines is faster but this is easier because if you use peak line you are still going to trim off the process of trimming may you may not find it easy or convenient so you use this very one and draw at once there is no need of trimming anything with this so you end it here okay once you end it here, like I told you, I'm, I said I'm going to show you another way to end your command. Once you have finished drawing, you want to end the command now. Just come to modify here. At the top left corner, you can see it. You can see the cursor. Click on modify. It is going to end the command for you. So once you've done that, the next thing you are going to do is to come to this line on the right hand side. Click on this line. I am talking about the pink line. Once you click on the pink line, it is going to bring out the value, the value of the angle, the value of the slope angle. This is currently 30. But you are not going to change anything here. Once you click on it, on the line, just come here at the top here. You will see define slope. Uncheck it. Okay? Just uncheck. Come here in this front line, this front pink line. Click on it. Come here and uncheck define slope. Click on this one, come to define slope and do the same thing. Click on this, come to define slope, uncheck. Click on this, 
come to define slope and check click on this come to define slope and check and click on this and uncheck so you have done the same thing to all of them apart from the one at the back you are going to uncheck all of them but you are not going to uncheck the one at the back the reason for this is because the the roof is going to slope towards the back so where the roof is sloping towards the, the sorry the direction where the slope the roof is sloping to does not have to be um, um, tampered with the only thing you are going to do with it is to change the angle value if it is too high or if it is too small so let's click on it and see the value of the slope when you click here you see 30 and 30 will be too high for this very um, for this very roof design because our wall is 1.8 meters which is 1800 millimeters if you leave this at 30 degrees it will be higher than the wall so click on this and make it let's say 15 and click on 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 the outside when you click on the outside it is going to be affected all right then go to modify click on modify to end all right so when you have done this now come to this green check here finish edit mode click on it to end all right so click on default 3d view when you click on default 3d view this is our roof sorry it does not have roof material yet it is looking just plain plain white so but there is something i want you to see there is a gap in between you can see the inner part of the building from this roof so which means the roof is even still high at 15 degrees all right so we are going to click on this roof and reduce the slope angle so click on this roof now and come here at the top here click on edit footprint it is going to bring out this pink line with this um, angle symbol click on the line and it's going to show you the value of the angle again which is 15 click on that 15 degrees and type let's say 7 and click on the outside then click finish all right so click on the outside again you can see it has gone inside we can no longer see the roof from the outside again so what you're going to do now is click on the roof now and come here you are, uh, uh, under your properties under properties all right click on edit type is it no 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 not click uh, not edit type just click here that is if you if you have already saved some materials for your roof before now but if not you have to go and create a new material for your roof so click on this place and select any of the roof you have saved before so this is the roof i've saved before now so i just have to click on this and click on the outside space and you can see my black roof is affected all right so if you like you can now repaint these walls to match with the one you have already or you can still leave it like this to act as a design or color combination for your building so now let's go to uh what is it called again let's go to project browser and go to 3d views and see how this looks like if we can still see the roof so you come here you can see the roof is now hidden within this wall you cannot see it so this is how to create your hidden roof or your flat roof i hope this video was helpful to you if it was i want you to like subscribe to our channel and also recommend this channel to your friends thank you so much